That's the phrase. Penitentiary chances. Yeah, they didn't want to take the penitentiary chances. You know, it wasn't the same respect of everybody else that took, you know, the raspies. It's like, no, nigga, you're not getting no fucking respect. Shit, I, 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 I don't give a fuck. Any of you niggas right now, y'all doing all this nonsense. You you want to, you know, you're going to find a way around it. You're going to try to find a way around and, and think you get the same. You, you can have some kind of off-brand respect, you know, whatever. That's why your shit didn't work. That's why the, the, cause you, seriously, you're like, well, how could it didn't work? Because you, you didn't have to put nothing into it. Seriously, you know, you just, that's what it tells you. You don't want shit given to you. They gave you all that power and the shit ain't going to work. You're like, well, how do, because you don't make, you're not going to, because you, the, yeah, you can't, you just can't make good decisions. You ain't got that penitentiary chances hanging over your head. You know, they gave you free reign, whatever this little crazy ad experiment was. They tried to do it in Atlanta. They tried to do it in D.C., you know, yesterday. Uh, I think they tried it in another town in Asheville, North Carolina, but they shut it down according to somebody else. I ain't, I ain't even look it up. But the thing is, yeah, no risk, no reward, man. Y'all, y'all shit ain't gonna. You can't. You're not gonna get no respect. You know. Hey, I don't see how y'all gonna do that shit in Atlanta. Not just cause of the police, but you know Atlanta is a red state. Even though Atlanta is a blue city, so you know motherfuckers got guns in Atlanta. The the working class black people, they strapped too, legally. That's what I be talking about down there. It's not just like it's not like Chicago, even though you got the same type of elements. But the reason that Chicago is so out of control versus Atlanta, even though you got the same type of shit, is that the working niggas, you know, they could be the same. Both on twenty, you got two niggas twenty five. One of them been working since he been out of high school. The other one, you know, been hustling way before, you know, probably 14, 13, whatever, in the trap house, you know, blah, 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 they say in in Atlanta. Both of them got guns. Again. But who? both of them might not be afraid to pull out. Again, but the, the one who, yeah, he's legal. He's legal. See what I'm saying? I know plenty of 20-somethings, you know, they got legal. I know 20-somethings that don't got legal guns. But point is, down here versus Chicago, you got niggas. So that's what, and, you know, so I, I don't know. We got to see how this Seattle thing. I guess because they don't, you know, but at that point, though, they still don't really care. It's just they're at the Wendy's parking lot. So there's no reason, you know, they're not trying to take over whole blocks at this. Well, who knows? You know, you got. I got to look at the news. I mean, literally at this instant, they're not trying to take over a whole area like in Seattle. I think you know they just went to that burnt down Wendy's <laughs> and set up shop. So <laughs> talk about no cops. But uh, uh, now nah, we got we have yet to see if they can uh, go to like Peachtree Street. And, and and uh you know and just shut down the six blocks and, and do some shit like that because like i said even you know poindexter nigga you know i'm talking about the nigga with the you know bald head and glasses and the suit he's a lawyer um he got his office you know whatever even the nigga with a sandwich shop on peace three sheet you know, I don't think they're going to let y'all just come and take their shit, you know, because y'all got guns. They're going to call their cousins and brothers and, <laughs> hey, hey, shit, these niggas crazy. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. I'd like to see how this would go out. You know, I'm not trying to put, you know, the good, the black business owners, I'm not trying to put y'all, you know, wishing something on you. I'm just saying, if I, I can imagine, I don't think it's going to go down like that, like in Seattle, <laughs> you know. You know, see, these niggas standing outside the front, telling them they putting up barricades. Nah, they got AKs and SKs and just shit. You still got that? <laughs> yeah, I still got it. We we'll call Jimmy Earl too. Yeah, okay, yeah, he still, yeah, he still got it. He still got that bulldog, that three foot. Yeah, he still got it. <laughs> he still got, got that three foot seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring out, bring it. Tell everybody, come on. <laughs> but anyway, let me go do what I got.